Uh, today I'm going to show you um, how to sleeve um, a fan today. Now this pretty much applies to any other uh, wire in your PC, but this is pretty much the easiest way and the cheapest way to go about sleeving your um, fan wire. Now right, what I have right here is a fan wire, but it's an extension. It, it's just the same exact thing, but you're not going to be um, touching this part, which is that the part that plugs into the fan itself. Now this is just a three pin fan wire. Okay, and it's got the three pin you can see. Okay. So what you're gonna need to start off with is a sharp pair of um, scissors. You probably don't want to use big scissors, this way you get better exact cuts. You're gonna need a knife. You always need a knife when you're modding anything because it always comes in handy. Um, there's never been a mod I've done that I haven't had to use a knife with. It just comes in handy. Um, some heat shrink. Now this is quarter inch heat shrink. You want the smallest you can find. This is the smallest I could find and it works great. You can pick this up on any online computer mod retailer. Um, I got this from uh, jabtech.com. That's jab-tech.com. And for the same for here, this is eighth inch uh, UV green sleeving. Okay. This is uh, PET sleeving. Okay, so um, I couldn't find any heat shrink smaller, but this is going to shrink pretty small anyways. This is quarter inch when it's not shrunken, so it's going to be probably around eighth inch, maybe even smaller. So you just want something that's nice and small for your sleeving. So you always want the smallest sleeving possible for your wires so it looks clean and not bulky. Okay, what you're also going to need if you don't already have a, um, a modding uh, kit for modding your power supply or uh, sleeving, um, right here I've got I forget what size this is, but it's a really, really small screwdriver. These sometimes come with uh, glasses, if you have a pair of glasses, uh, these little glass fixing kits. Um, this is just a normal uh, small screwdriver set, okay? and uh, this is a flathead, and I would recommend using the flathead over a uh, rounded Phillips, okay? um, a number one, of course. So what you're going to do is there's these tiny... Uh, little heads on the top here. You're not going to touch these at all. These have nothing to do with the, the uh, sleeving part. You want to take your screwdriver and poke through these. Okay. You don't want to pull the wires out until you hear them or you see them fully come out of place because it'll ruin the, the wire prongs and you won't be able to sleeve it. Okay. They won't be able to go back into the connector as well either and you'll have to crimp on new connectors and it'll be a pain, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to remove one of them and show you what I mean. Just take your time. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I have all of the wires taken out. Okay. So red goes in the middle, black goes on the left, and if you have, if you don't remember which wire goes where, um, just go online and look up a three-pin wire, and it'll show you. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is cut a nice small piece of this heat shrink right here. Okay. You don't want something too long, but I'm gonna make mine a little bit longer because I don't have a ton of sleeving. So I'm gonna cut a piece like that. Also, you're gonna want a heat gun or a blow dryer. So I'm gonna pause the video quickly, and I'm going to get a hair dryer. Okay guys, so I'm back, and I've got the dryer, the blow dryer, hair dryer. If you have a heat gun laying around, use that, but if you don't, just use a hair dryer, okay? Um, you're, when you do this, you're going to want, before I start using the hair dryer, you're going to take your heat shrink piece, like so, and you're going to slip it over the wires. You want to kind of feed it through, a prong of the yellow. Okay, so you're going to push the yellow through a little bit. Okay, so now that I've got like that, I'm okay guys, so this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe.